this person manipulated you, and you went ahead and you went ahead and went with it, you ate it, you stuck it up, and then you went ahead and took on other people, which is me, which I told you not to do. Yeah, I didn't see much of their ass. <laughs> oh Jesus! Okay. 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 Hold on. <laughs> this is this is the pot calling the kettle black right now, right? Yeah. Hold on. He's he's saying you shouldn't hang out with Grace because you're gonna get manipulated, and then it's gonna like, come back, and the negative effects are gonna land on me. Uh, I I don't know who this guy is, but I've heard weird things that he's just like a weird like people are very disconcerted. Is he like? Do you think oh. he's just a normal guy? Uh, what do you mean? Like, is he a normal? He's very socially awkward. Okay, that's it. He's, uh, yeah, he's got really poor social skills, but I I don't think he's like a threat or anything. That's okay. Weird. No, I don't think so. I I don't know. I literally see nothing. I just saw the name, and people are like. What is Darius doing with this Gavin guy around? But like, I have no idea at all what it means. I'm just, I'm literally asking like, but no social skills. Okay. Why you want? I thought it was funny. What it was funnier the one right at the bottom. During the sex? No. Do you want to do it again? Do you want to do it again? Because it seemed like you don't want to be believe you're just too scared to say it. So that I'll admit that. Dude, I like how you I like how you flip it on us. Yeah. Dude, no, dude. Hold on. And I get it so I can use my spacebar to unpause. The, okay, so my issue was I wanted you okay, to have there the, we go. the cognitive dissonance to be like Let me finish. I wanted you to have your own personal like feelings of like Hey, there's something intimate going on, and I'm not part of it. I don't need to be here. But there's something going on that's intimate and not part of it. <laughs> His little head tilt. He's like, ah, I don't know about that. I need to do that. We're like, ah, I'll just stay here. I'll just watch. Okay. And then remember when he deflected when you did finally kick him out, and you told him get the fuck out, and then and then you deflected. It's a long day. I'm just thinking about. It. There's like a lot of stuff. Because he tried to defend staying at one point. Remember? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And he tried to defend staying at one point. Mm. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> I'm wondering, wondering what you think. Because I feel like in my world, I'm pretty not worried about people thinking I'm a rapist. But they do tend to think I'm No, it wasn't that at all. It was just. Well, all right. This has nothing to do with being a rapist. Yeah, it's great. Um. <laughs> is this guy? Is this guy in chat somewhere? Like, was he in Darius's chat? Where did you find this guy? Yeah, he was a Darius viewer, and then he met us um, downtown, and then we just started hanging out. Is this like so? But like, is he just Gavin in chat or something? Uh, no, I forget what his name is in chat. Someone know who he is? I'm just curious if I'd like know the name from chats or what. No, I don't. I don't think it's weird to like want to know. That, we're not the same person, bro. No, almost. Man's told you, get the fuck out, I'm going to fuck the shit out of her now. You said, well, a few hours ago, this wasn't supposed to be happening. And that was you defending, trying to stay. Okay, so, let's back up. And then he had to say a few Okay. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to say that there is a world where this guy is justified in some way, where he's like, hey, I was told I could stay in this room, and... Now I'm like trying to go to sleep. Like screw you guys if you're gonna like just try to keep me awake or try to kick me out when I'm trying to go to bed. Like I was allowed to stay in this room. Fuck you guys. To my to my knowledge, it was in Darius's room. Okay. Yeah. Did he? Is there like a futon in there or? See, no. where would he have been? Was he? Yeah, he wasn't just sitting like in a corner of the room, was he? I I don't know. I wasn't present in the room, but. Is there, like, another appropriate location to be trying to sleep or do anything other than just, like... In the room, no. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Interesting. We're going to hear his reasoning now, guys. So, it's like... You were chilling, and you had to go over here, because I brought you over here. He was laying in bed. You were, you were sitting in bed. We had a whole conversation. Take him to bed. Take him away. Well, to, to, wait, 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 real quick, real quick, real quick. To be fair, though, she wouldn't have been gone if it wasn't for you, either. She'd be fine. Been gone. Because I was already here, and then I asked you to... 
And then I left, oh, and sure, I asked sure. for the right to okay, leave. Okay, understandable. Yeah, but you want, I, mean, I don't know, it's okay, it's actually, you want your stuff, right? Yeah. That was your, that's your shit done. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're friends. I, I hope you're able to buy this conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but... The point was he was saying to leave, and then you use that as, like, you brought up something that could potentially be an argument, just so that you could stay in the room to mediate. Or whatever, but just to stay in the room instead of just being like, all right, let these two do their thing and then let me leave. Like, why did you want to be in there so much? I don't know we talked about it at the time. What was I talking about? I guess it was somewhere. Yeah. Well, we talked about it at the time. You I'm said sure you said you don't care. I'm sure y'all were chilling. Well, what you told me before you said that was that you don't care regardless. You're just here to hang out. But then after I told you to leave, then you brought up an issue. So, yeah, do you remember what the issue was? Like, it was like I just said the issue. You just said it. He says something about you brought up an issue that could have potentially been a bigger issue because I left because of an issue, and that was an issue. I don't even know the issue. He was you guys got stroke. With the context that I have, because we talked about a little bit of this, obviously off camera, because I'm fucking based and I don't talk about everything on camera, but um, I feel like they're kind of bullying him. <laughs> Honestly, with the context I have, I feel like this is kind of a bullying situation, and maybe I'll chalk it up to them both being. Uh, boozed up and probably high but the the context here um is they know this guy is socially awkward he has issues everybody uh, in the house knows that we have to interact with him in probably a more direct way than we would typically have to interact with most other people and to my knowledge they were like um trying to say like or they were like getting intimate with each other and then not directly telling him to like leave. And then at one point when they got, I guess, far enough along their journey of intimacy, they asked him to leave. And then he protested. He's like, well, I, I, you know, there's a whole issue with like her even being here and stuff like that. And from his perspective, again, he's a very socially awkward person. He was trying to look out for Darius and a little bit of, even of Xena because he's aware of the fact that they shouldn't be interacting together uh, okay. very much at all. And based on, on on having a conversation with him, he was just trying to make sure they weren't going to have like some explosive fight or argument. And so that's why he was like chilling. He was just chilling, trying to make sure that the vibes were good. And then when they told him to leave, he was like, hey, like she shouldn't even be here in the first place. Like this might blow up. It's kind of uh, weird. Okay. That makes more sense that that guy's yeah. like, you know, especially he's he's going to be like um, Danny when Danny's not there. Danny at home, although Danny was also here. But well, yeah, I, I had a, uh, a talk with him about it. Like, obviously, this isn't the place to do it. This isn't the way that you do it. You like if you want to try and avoid them having like a fight, you don't try and break them up while they're like, you know. Yeah, but he, it. you're saying like he doesn't know. He's like just trying to. Yes. He's like, yeah, you guys shouldn't be. Cause yeah, I I understand where that kind of that is coming from. Okay, I get it. Yes, I know Zena's commenting in chat, guys. I would totally ask Zena to join the Discord, but I think she just she's chilling. Okay, wait, aren't you supposed to be on a plane, Zena? I mean, she might be watching on her phone from like the airport or something. Who knows? No, she should be on the plane. <laughs> she should be on the plane. Oh, yes. Maybe she's uh just chilling back at your house again. Maybe she's your new roommate, Rally. Uh, no. No? Okay. No. You can use it. Okay. Can you use what? Somebody said you can use the internet on planes. Don't you have to pay for that shit? You do. And I wonder if it would be good enough. It might be good enough to watch the stream. I don't know. Yeah. I would, it feel like it was more. Well, you, you were like. See, this is funny. Well, so I told you to leave, and you said, do you really think it's a good idea for me to leave? Uh, you both have both. You both have issues. Do you think you're. Do you think, <laughs> do you think you think you both are having issues? I was not. I just wanted to clear. Really you said after I left, I, I wish I could marry. I well, just. Well, if we were joking, and oh, I made the joke, and I said, I said no, and he kept getting things up. But she probably right has some weird kink with it. I didn't do, and I told. I told. No, you when I said we, there's somebody was talking about rape or something like that, and I was like, well, I did say no, and I made the joke, and I was like, and then Danny goes, Gavin shouldn't have left then, and then I was like, yeah, Gavin, I wish you would stay. It was like the joke, like saying he could stay to protect me from being. Right, there's a joke. Dude, fucking Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff, what? 
No, my, my point is, Gavin, Gavin, I'm loving this character development because it's going to get only better from here, honestly. Yeah. So my issue was when we talked, I told you, bro, like, listen, man. I'm... Darius seems like a terrible person. In what way? I think these people are all high, by the way. Yeah, I I want to say that probably a lot of, like, maybe not a lot of doing it on stream. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, also, that was me reading a chat. I'm just like... Yeah, no, no, I, I know you are. Yeah. I just wanted to maybe make a comment on it. But um, Darius, I think he does um, some pretty bad things in the context of his relationships, and I think he can be very forgetful um, when it comes to his friendships and interpersonal relationships. But outside of that, uh, I don't really think he's a terrible person. He doesn't do anything crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't even know how much it's, like, bully. I, I think they probably find it funny if this guy, like, assuming this guy isn't feeling like he's getting completely mocked, they probably think, like, it's, it is content that he's, like, not understanding why he shouldn't leave the room when they're about to fuck. Like, it is, like, a funny situation. It it's is not, a very funny situation, for sure. Like, but... it, as long as he's, like, friends with them, and as long as if he asks them to stop, like, hey, don't talk about this, this is, like, weird... As long as he he's feeling it, he's mega stressed. Dude, he's on Molly, and he's, like, super smiley right now. I don't think he is stressed at all. He might be stressed knowing that they had this conversation after the fact. I don't think he's stressed in this conversation, but maybe wrong. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, with his situation, I would probably err on the side of caution when trying to do shit like this, because I feel like he probably won't accurately communicate um like or even healthy boundary young. for himself yeah, yeah exactly a healthy boundary for himself so i tend to err on the side of caution with him yeah that makes that makes some sense arrow keep keep going Don't here you have the desire to be yourself and not just not read the room but like listen if you're if you're like in the cup shit you sit there and you do it like the purpose of you sitting around while your homies fucking is to get sexual pleasure there's no other reason Unless, unless you feel like, the, more, unless, unless it's like a prostitute that you feel like is like gonna kill him or something. I was curious about what it would be like if also a podcast. Curious about what it would feel like. I'm the next media cut him, but I'm just sitting there watching him sitting in the corner. Why don't you communicate that to me? I would have been capable of it. And I, I was like, yeah, in hindsight, I should. I would love if you communicated with that because then I would have been like, okay, that's what's happening then. And I would have, I would probably would have tried to fuck her more for you <laughs> to see how you would feel about it. But instead, I just thought you were being weird and like you were like a retarded dog. Darius is trying to humiliate this guy. Do you disagree? Um, until he made this retarded dog statement, I would have harshly disagreed. Now, maybe he's, like, pissed? I don't know. But, like, I'd ha I'll have to watch the whole situation. This guy doesn't seem like he's upset, by the way. I don't. That's all I can see. Now, Rally might be right, as in, like, yeah, in terms of, like, hey, this guy might not be doing a good job of expressing, like, what he's feeling in the moment. But uh, I, until he made that retarded dog comment, I didn't think this was like any kind of terrible bullying. It's like sorry pretty. My... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry to my knowledge. At the end of this, he, I think, had expressed like an issue with like, oh, like doing it on stream was probably not a good idea. Like he okay. probably didn't like the idea of doing it on stream. All right. I didn't know if he had. That's what well, you were talking about. Did you stream part of this? I I I, I didn't stream school. any of it. Did you stream any of it? Part of the conversation. Yeah. While we were in the middle of having sex. While you were having sex. While I was sitting on the floor, actually, we just obviously. Did anyone ask to get from a Gavin? Yeah. Yeah, and it seemed cool until now. Now, now I have to. Until right now? No, maybe before. Before time, just not that old. What was cool? Gavin, please talk. Be honest, dude. I don't. Being perfectly honest. You're asking what was cool, I'm saying the vibe since then. The vibe was cool? Was cool. That, that vibe was cool? Me singing it? Yeah. No, I must have something about the movie. I was watching TV. <laughs> you know, you're, you're watching Peanuts the movie? Yeah, literally. What happened? I can literally hold on. Hold on. Tell me. No, I can, I can tell you which scene we were on. If we want, if What's, what happened on the scene? Winding the sex scene in your head? No, we're watching Peanuts the movie. What, what happened? What happened? What? So here's the thing. Oh, God, I just fucking had the shivers. Um. This guy told me, she told me that she looked at you with eye contact. But she said she made eye contact with you during it. 
I yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Substantial doubt. I can't see like insane stress and like upset from this guy. Yeah, I, no. I, I'm to be clear, I'd, I'm not getting that either. And even in the post conversation, um, I didn't. He didn't communicate that, nor did I get like something like that. It was primarily just like confusion and being a little bit upset with like how he was characterized. Yeah, yeah, that seems fine. But like, he's also pushing back. He's like. Yeah, it feels like he's pushing back against it in the conversation. I don't know, like that mm-hmm. he's being characterized as, like somebody who's doing this like as a sexual weirdo. He's just like, I don't know, I didn't really think about it. Although he did also make the comment about like, oh, I wondered how that would feel, like the cuck experience. I don't yep. know. I don't know. Can you agree that we did? Yeah, can we show the room? Make sure we like show where we were. Like, so we don't like the contact. That would make me uncomfortable. She was making eye contact with him i was like like that like trying to make that comment right there makes me feel like he's not concerned about doing it on stream like maybe he was or said it afterwards but that oh this would be content if we did it this way i that seems like he's totally fine with being on stream and having this conversation but yeah, again I, I, I can understand that read yeah yeah uh, i don't know much about him so like you like no i was curious get... as well. i was curious yeah. whether it was getting well, out so just so like, 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 for like, um, this Yep. I personally, given what I know about Gavin, I like this guy, just to be clear. I think he's cool. Um, again, he just has some social issues, uh, and we're working with that. He, I don't believe that if he was experiencing some pretty like heavy shit at the uh, hands of like Darius, like he was getting like emotionally fucked up over it, I don't think he would tell Darius, or Darius could just go, like, what are you doing, bro? And then he'd just be like, okay, I'm sorry. And then, like, that'd be the end of it. Yeah, I mean... He's very, very agreeable. Yeah. And, like... I couldn't... That, so. I couldn't see Darius, like, yeah, basically... I don't know. Yeah, I, I basically agree with all of that. Okay. Leaving me? Because that was, like, weird as fuck. No. But my so dick was all good. So I'm gonna make eye contact. Did you just stand just sitting there watching me fuck. Like, like, like I want to know, like... You talk. Did you win or lose? Are you getting off? What's wrong? Um, I feel like it's my shit has been pretty suppressed. I mean, I think you lose them. Yes, I, I lost, lost on the gray stuff. You lost on the fundamentals? Yeah, there was another issue a couple other issues. Was it a win? <laughs> I think we're into the process. Is it really hurt? I think I'll piss for perfect. I'm gonna go need the PP. Worst case scenario, I'll be a frequent member of the community. Someone said, I don't know why they aren't acting like they were into it. Oh, I'm not weirded out by it. I just think that it's funny that you would just want to sit there and, like, just to be curious. I don't mind being watched. I clearly have black only fans. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not afraid you're gonna hurt me or attack me. Like, I don't know. Read the fucking room. Read the fucking room, Gavin. No facts. Darius said on stream the other day you were into the polyamory show. Send a clip. Because what? What even discussion is that? Uh, hold on. I just saw a chat that I wanted to read, and now I lost it. Oh, who's the guy in the back? Yeah, who's the guy in the back? Really? Just another dude. Another. Really? He's another uh, roommate. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Legacy is his name. Okay. Let me show all controls. I'm gonna turn the speed up on this because I know you don't have that much time left. I'll try to get through more of it. When have I said this? Polyamory, polyamory, multiple relationships. I understand. Yeah. 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 Dude, I don't, dude, I like joking around like the idea of it or whatever, but I, not that I want. I don't no, know. they're trying to make me understand. I asked a question. Someone said, Darius said on stream the other day you were into polyamory shit. And I was like, when I did never, I say that? I never first of all, I never would have said that. I don't think you would ever be in an idea of a open relationship. I don't even think you're like, okay. 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 Um, I'm joining late. They started boning in front of a dude and are now chastising him. Well, yeah, apparently they wanted him to leave. Also, um, yeah, just based on everything Relly said, I don't know why if you wanted him to leave, you wouldn't just say, hey, we're about to have sex. You should leave the room. It's inappropriate. Yeah. So I, I had a conversation with them about it um, earlier today um, because I and I said the exact same thing. I was like, OK, if you guys were upset with the idea that he didn't leave earlier, um, then you should have just said in plain terms, hey, 
I need you to leave. This is a good time for you to leave. Because according to them, what they said was like, hey, um, Yavin, you see when like people are doing this and they were like, I don't know, kissing or like making out or something or like getting more physical, that's probably a cue for you to leave. And then he would go, oh, well, I mean, we're chilling. I like, I feel like we're chilling. And then they didn't tell him from there, okay, you should leave. They just kept doing stuff. Which, like, I could see that being, especially with how Xena and Darius are, I could see them, like, starting to make out or something, and then they could stop, and then you keep having, like, a conversation. It's, like, kind of weird for near 30-year-old people to do, but it is how some people are, like, in that, like, when people are, I don't know, especially when people are high at, like, a party or something. So I could see that being where he thought it was going, and then it started progressing, and he's like, uh, this is, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna watch Peanuts. (laughs) Yeah, and, and so... I was upset with the idea that they would be upset at him for not immediately leaving that situation because they knew that he had issues where they needed to be more direct with him. So it's like after making that statement, ideally what they'd be like, this is typically when you'd leave and he'd be like, oh, I'm just chilling. You would go, hey, I need you to leave. Yeah, yeah. I've already had that kind of interaction with between Darius and Gavin several times where Darius was coping. He's like, dude, I don't care that you're here. I don't care. Like, it's just, I, I just don't want you around like all the time. Like sometimes I need my space. And then Gavin was like, well, you know, I'm just like hanging out and I just thought it'd be cool. And he's like, well, yeah, sometimes it's cool. And sometimes it's not, but like right now you're just breathing down my neck. Like, and then Gavin's like, well, do you want me to do some of that? And he's like, no, I don't care. And it, it's like, yeah, you just can't tell him, Hey, I need space. Can you go to your room? He can't tell him that. Yeah, yeah. For some reason. Um, and it was really, really weird. And so I just told him, hey, Gavin, Darius could use some space. It'd be really nice for you to go back to your room. And then he did it instantly. He yeah. went back to his room. Yeah. yeah. So I, I just think that they um, – wait, he is a roommate? He is not a roommate. He is just um, – Staying in a room. Yeah, he is staying in a room. He's a possible – he's a potential roommate. Uh. Yeah, I could see how that would work really badly with Darius, because Darius is terrible at setting boundaries for everyone in all aspects of his life, from what I've seen. Yeah. Like, uh, and he doesn't he doesn't want to, and he'll get frustrated at people who, uh, who don't respect what he wants, but he hasn't, like, said, hey, don't do this, right? Yeah, and that's, so. that's a significant conflict that um, is being had with Gavin. Interesting. All right. Do you have, like, a relationship at all, yeah. I'm talking what? Yeah, I got it. What did you say? Okay. King Koala, I do not remember yesterday. Today's been long. What happened? Like, like, wait, what did you say? I said, we're not. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, he said it about himself. Oh, okay. okay. Why were you talking about yesterday? It was a little slight. Like, okay, fine. Pet. Yeah, sure, but it was my first little bag. Are these people both reading different chat messages and responding to them on the same stream? <laughs> I can't, I literally can't parse what either of them are saying. Well, I can kind of hear Xena better. But. She's loving it. Thank you. This is me being a fat ass. You know, I'm not going to hear it. I know. Well, it's in like. You know, here you can also have that look since, you know. But anyway, that's why the chocolate. Is that for you? Yeah, I was on the phone. Yeah, yeah. My mouth is so dry. Wait, hold on. I missed. I missed the quote. I don't know what I missed. My first little pack. Hold on. I need to actually go back and get this. Yeah, he said my first little pack. It was a little It was my first. Oh. With a girl. I see. So Zena kissed him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. All right. I know that it's so Well, it seems like. But, you know, I'm curious about that number of cents. But anyway, that's why the chocolate. Is that for you? My mouth is so dry. We're acting good. Uh, are you going to. I. You guys are. I, I would bet any amount of money that a content piece you guys are going to do, not you, really, because I don't think you would be interested is you guys are going to try to get this guy laid and you're going to make a whole stream out of it and try to... Darius is going to try to monetize that 100%. He, he's already tried a couple times. Okay, well, that is that is what it is. Yep. 
She kissed Xena and that Dylan Burns guy first kiss with a boy and girl. D- oh, this <laughs> that Dylan. Sorry, is this the blue pajamas guy you're yeah, calling that yeah. Dylan Burns guy? Okay. I see what they're talking about. Interesting. Yeah, why are you fucking just like staring at I'm me? I'm thinking about stuff. It's an interesting situation. I'm thinking about conversations. Some of the conversations we have earlier. Like, I'm from the hood, and they're a little too much. Sure, I feel that. And I'm I'll spiritual. They're a little too much. Okay, sure. Yeah, no, I have to. We have to touch on that. Uh, can I? Yeah, can I respond to somebody inside of your YouTube chat? Yeah. yeah. You or Relly, tell us if Gavin thought they would stop if he insisted he stay. Um, based on the conversation I had with him, he thought that if he stayed and then he explained to them why it wasn't a good idea for them to like interact or without like him being able to be like, Hey, you know, you, this may not be a good idea or just like watching over him or whatever that he would, uh, um, he thought that explaining it would possibly make them, uh, not explode. Interesting. So, yeah, that's the, again, I told him that's certainly not the case. It's not going to happen, and you shouldn't be trying to control people that way, right? You should just let them know, hey, I think this isn't a good idea for you guys to be having sex. I don't think you guys should be doing this, and then, like, leave them to their own thing. Um, so, yeah, that's what I... Hi. I think some people in my chat are a little bit, a little too emotionally invested, They've self-inserted a little too easily and too quickly into the kissless, hugless vir- version of the group, guys. You, <laughs> he's Zena's not like abusing this guy, okay? That they're kind of yeah, they might be stepping over the line slightly in terms of bullying in a friendly way, but like that's where it is. That's there's like a huge chasm between that and abuse, okay? Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's any abuse of Gavin here. I just I think that there should be more clear communication with this guy because yeah. of his. His uh, his issues. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, I guess just like, yeah, in the future, if I really see Friends you can confide in, friends you can like, oh, like so I can't really confide yeah. in. Yeah. So, but so, well, I don't know, I'm not outside of sure. All I can say is that if I ever see you around, like, in chat streaming, I will think of you as a friend. But you don't have to feel physical problem. That'll be, like, strong confidence. So are you going to call me a trauma dump, like, about stuff? Yeah, then how are we home? Um, <laughs> would you like? Do you want to know? No, I'm not. I'm just saying, like, wow, I define friends. So I'm saying, uh, I don't so use the word friends so easily. Like, I really barely hold it. So, like, so, so. like there's no such thing like a temporary friendship? Because, yeah, why do you think? Okay, so. This is a Kelly Jean moment from Xena right here. Somebody you're spending, like, days and days with and asking for favors and stuff. Not their, Not your friend? Come on. I don't know. I think it's weird I, to like I, gatekeep the word friend so hard, but I, I don't know. The the interactions that they've had, I could definitely see it being like not necessarily them being friends. I, I think the they've only interacted for like probably like less than a week. Okay. Like five or four days maybe. I would say, like, yeah, sorry, just from my perspective, I'd, like, consider Xena my friend, and we've interacted in, like, VC, like, three times. And not really at all in DMs or anything? A little bit in DMs, but not, like, a ton. Mm, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, some people have different definitions of friends and shit. Like, I have definitely, a, I'm far pickier with who I consider to be friends and, and who not. Um, so, yeah. Okay, Zena just considers what I consider a friend. She just says she's cool with that person. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I think we're chill. Oh yeah, we're chill. We're chill. You do that, Chad? Jesus. When's the next I'd like that some fucks me? Well, there's some of my inner fucks. Like, what was the fuck is made? That's a fucking thing. Uh, Zena says there's room to become friends, but like, I don't want to befriend everyone that Darius is friends with. I can make my own separate friends and do that. 
Yeah, sure. Sweet. Yeah. Near her? Possibly not near her. Already there, lobster bug. Sorry, I thought you. I apologize. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My apologies. Nothing. I thought you were agreeing to a comment. I just read out loud because I didn't read the username. Uh, the VOD sped up. I think it's 1.25 right now. I was like. I thought there was more. I, th I thought I heard yelling at one. Well, there's technically. Apparently, it goes for quite a bit longer. We try to skip on to some more interesting parts here. Wait until Darius starts looking at the stream. If you wanted me to leave, I think you would have told me. And you didn't. Yeah. You might have implied like, it. I literally said already, I was curious if you were going to stay, and it was all up like, to Darius, since it's his room, and you're his friend, I don't know you. So, okay, sure. So, so, like, of course, like, he knew, like, if I was uncomfortable, I would tell him, like, oh, this guy out of here. What? I don't know. I have only. The yelling was in the, when the stream ended, apparently, as he so, says. You guys are sitting there watching me talk to him. Yeah, the whole house there. Okay. okay. I mean, they could just go watch a video of it. So I think personally this is a superrogatory thing that they could do but um i think it would have been better even if they were comfortable with him like sitting inside of the room and staying there probably to tell him when they felt like it was socially unacceptable for him to stay in the room why it was socially unacceptable and tell him to leave because i i think Genu generally speaking, with the position he's in, we should be encouraging him to have socially acceptable habits rather than, or like uh, pushing him towards socially acceptable habits rather than like potentially this. Because he might, the takeaway from this might be that he finds it okay to, to kind of just like be in that environment for potentially inappropriate amount of time, uh, amounts of time. And I had that conversation with him. Yeah, um, Sin Signal in my YouTube chat says, Bra, no one needs to tell you that. That's not just autism. That's actually literally autism, by the way. Literally is. That is literally <laughs> autism, like not being able to identify those rules or like when a situation gets awkward. That is like quite literally autism. <laughs> like, yeah. And and yeah, a lot of people who are autistic, they feel no social compunction to follow those rules. They All they can do is like run into that sort of like uh, speed bump and trip over it and smash their face and then be like, okay, I've I now figured out that's like 15 feet into the parking lot where that speed bump is. I don't see it, but like I now I can avoid it because I know it's there, right? It's like they basically just have to build rules for themselves that are, I don't know, yeah, based on, on their like negative consequences of violating social rules. Right, and so that's why I think that it probably would have been better even if they were comfortable to kind of guide him in the right direction. Yeah, but not necessary. I just think it's probably good to do for somebody who's, you know, potentially struggling. Gavin seems different, though, like a sociopath. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think sociopaths or psychopaths is like a common misunderstanding. They don't not understand social rules in a lot of cases. They usually understand social rules and they don't they don't care about them. They don't feel like an emotional they, they don't feel emotion when they violate the social rules, but they usually understand them. And that's why they're like scary is because they understand those social rules and then they will violate them intentionally. He says that. OK, well, maybe. Gavin says that Gavin X-Ray Rat, you're too invested in Darius's community. OK, <laughs> too invested. Why not? Um, I just want to be cuffs. Let me be cuffs. They can watch me. I'm beautiful. The sequence of live in the OnlyFans fantasy you saw it in real life. Yeah. Everyone here, my, and plus Darius, he was in the room. Darius. He got to see that ass bouncing on the on the date. Like, yeah, I didn't see much of Darius. Oh Jesus! I fully believe he had no idea what he he. There wasn't even a yeah. smirk there. He had no idea what a great joke he just made. <laughs> so like. 
That's true. I know that's true. Um, so the vibe, three things off the top of my head for him. A, you and I, we're outside smoking with Aiden. I smoking weed. B, all of us went back into Darius' room to hang out, put some, something on the TV, and we were talking. So much of the conversation is lost, but I remember it, so I'm fine with it. No, yeah. yeah. Put me in the hot seat. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. How do you feel about the amount of gay baiting these guys do, Relly? You comfortable with it? I mean, they, they could be as gay as they like to each other. I mean, I would prefer nobody have sex with each other inside of the house because that's just chaos. But, you know, they can do what they like. Who cares? I just, I've noticed it a couple of times now. And apparently this guy's kissed this guy. So, I yeah, I don't know yeah. exactly what's going on. It's interesting. Well, Hayden. It's, uh, uh, so, yeah. He's not very good at this. You're good at putting in hot seat. Am I good at putting in hot seat? Hey, not so much. I'm used to my phone, by the way. Could be. Is it? It is. Cool. Thanks. No, I don't think you should feel bad for watching. I don't kink shame. I don't think. kink and he wants to fuck shit, like I said. In my experience, nobody has grabbed my junk. Not one single person has grabbed my junk. Did you tell them you grabbed my junk? No. Okay, well, that person says she said she grabbed. Why are we talking about it? You know what? Read mod chat real quick. I it has to be something incredibly important to ask me to do that on stream. Okay, okay. I'll check it out. Not necessarily. Not if I. Not me though. So so I, must not be wrapped it tomorrow. What? I tried to explain this to y'all earlier. I am like you mentioned earlier. Yeah, we're like you treating me like a rich. No, drafting's different. That's like we go to war with Russia and they say, Gavin, you have no job. You have to go and fight and die for America. You just said you were drafting. No, I said if I get drafted tomorrow. Maybe drafting. Yeah. yeah. No, you said if you get drafted tomorrow, is that not? Yeah, but why did I say it? I forgot. Yeah, that's what I meant. But... Yeah, so you said wrong, correct? What's, can somebody, uh... You guys are annoying. Anyway, sorry. Whatever. Discord drama. Oh, if I get drafted tomorrow, nobody has to touch my dunk. That's why I said are getting drafted. Like, yeah. are on a list of the government, military, to get drafted? I thought, to I, think, I, thought I think I have to be voted. Wait. Yeah, you have to be voted. So. Wait, what? I think you have to be um, signed up for the draft to vote, correct? The, yeah, they call it selective service in the States, right? And you're yeah. like mandatorily, like legally obligated to sign up for it as far as I know. Or yeah, maybe you, maybe you don't, but you... Yeah. yeah, yeah, you lose some until 25? Okay, interesting. I understand this as oh, getting drafted is, is the war. So I don't understand. I can't tell what I think is he right? talking about gambling drafting yeah. or whatever? Okay. Do you're right or by Ian? Yeah. Got it. All men have to be in the reserves. As far as I'm in Texas, at least, when I register to vote, I also start to be drafted. All men have to be in the reserves? This isn't fucking Korea. Sognik typing, Gavin, rate the sex. Kind of weird, Sognik, I'm not going to lie. This law in America? All men have to be in reserves to get drafted for fucking no, war? Right. Oh, I, yeah. America, you're, you're, you're not true at all. I don't know, that word is right. No, it's not okay, selective service is what they call it. It's called selective service. Right. Indeed okay. it is. Selective right. service. Yeah, and we're running into the ground, like you do with a dumb joke. It's all good. Is he, he tried making a dumb fucking joke? Oh, then it's me. This is a Benny Mac situation again, reading the fucking magazine. Okay. I think we're fine. But, uh, no, I'm not going to get drafted tomorrow. I, if, I, if I do, I won't go. So there. Fuck him. You simply won't go. I simply won't go. You think if you got fucking drafted, you'd be able to say no? <laughs> yes. What's the point of this? Apparently it's content. We're just deer. You know what you are not in the I'm not sure any of this matters. Good, okay. Yeah, I mean, it was just like... Oh, that's why it's didn't before. Don't you? I don't know. Let's just do the fucking exit though. Let's just do it. Can you find this? Why don't we have Gavin smoke some crap, too? I don't want to touch well, the with multiple drugs. I'm on kick.com, it's Nina the Witch. This is kick.com slash Darius IRL. I don't promote or solicitize any illegal drug use or... Sorry, no, no. I would yeah, I got some info on block if we want to... Honestly. You are not going to be able to. Is that okay? I did. Okay. It's not that serious. When these guys get up and walk away, it apparently goes further. And it's still a maybe. You even have a list of asses you eat your burger and just generated it. What is the short list that you just generated? Can you ask or are you eating? Sydney Sweeney. Go Biden. No, I'm just that kind of shit. You would eat Joe Biden's ass. Uh, he's the president. I'm going to bet. Like, this is crazy. Sydney Sweeney, but that was a good one, though. Sydney Sweeney, that was good. I accept that. Alright, well, 
that concludes tonight. So I don't think we settled all this just yet, partner. So let's. <laughs> It's always tomorrow. Whoa. Let's talk about how we Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. Whoa. Yes, he did. Respect to this dude. White guy on a camera saying it. I don't know if I'll ever say it once I cam up, guys. So. Night. I've got about a sex listening of the people who live there. They don't get it. They don't get it. I get it. Let me do some other I'll talk in chat. Y'all get it. No, that's it. Don't have permission to come and watch anything. They're loving it. Like, you don't have to be Edward and watch anybody sleep. Okay, never done that. But I understand the implication. When people are asleep, don't come into their bedroom. Yes. So there was never time when I was laying in bed, and you opened the door, let go of the door, backed up a second, hesitated, and then came in and said, "Would you chuck around and And then slowly closed the door. Is that okay? I did happen. It was it today? Right. Right. Yeah, on this is, is he's gonna, we're at Gavin. Gavin. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> I can see. I can see him, like an autistic guy doing that. I mean, what if she? What if some shit had just gone down? I need more context than that to know that it was weird. Okay. She she made it sound like it was the weirdest shit she'd ever seen in her life, but I have no idea. The problem isn't that Gavin stayed in the room. The problem is that he didn't even let them know his intentions. Uh, sure. He's just, he's like sitting in the corner. I have no idea. Like, uh, you, it's hard to recount, right? Because none of them will actually be recounting this as it really happened. But like, uh, this guy, if he's super socially unaware, which I've been told by multiple people now that he is, then yeah, that situation as it progresses towards them having sex, he's like, he probably can't identify where the boundaries are there. And I don't, I don't even have faith that he's not just memeing here now with like the, the cuck thing after the fact. Yeah. Anyway. Well, n knowing him, I like I, that. Yep. Yeah, sorry. I think I think he could have like maybe been into it, but I don't know. Oh, maybe. My room. You open the door. You look at me, and then you leave. <laughs> what? Maybe if it's one match, those fuck ones up. Yeah, it's a plus time. Poor plus. So you do so, this for more than I've been away from. Like, maybe. I don't know if I said this, but Darius's haircut looks really good. I don't like it. No? Back of his old one. Okay. I think it looks really good. I just don't think he's ever going to style it like this again. I think like this. Did he just get a cut? Is this like? Yeah, he got, he got a. Yeah, he got a cut like two days, three days ago. Yeah. Oh well, no. If he's if he's doing it on his own. Never mind. If he's styling it like that on his own, like he's probably putting in some work. I just didn't think. I thought. I'll be honest. I just thought he was too lazy to like actually go and style it like this. But no, he he does right by his hair. Yeah. No, it's not content. It's content. I'm telling you, you're creepy. Okay. Me and Jane are saying you're being creepy as fuck. Okay. But like that's not content. Yeah. Why do you think they're creepy? Chad, do you think Gavin is creepy or do you oh, think Chad the, the, the no Chad? Do you think Gavin is creepy or the other two are creepy? Depending on what chat says is how I go about this. All right, makes sense. This, yeah, I'm basically the other you want, you want the huge mind read on Darius here? Hmm. Darius was mega creeped out, but because he can't say his boundary, he's like really mad that this guy watched them have sex now, but he can't even say it on stream. Like he can't even just go, I'm really upset that you watched me and this girl I like have sex. I, I think he's actually like mad about it. Mm, maybe. Could be. I think I think he's actually pissed about it, and he just can't express that. So now he's like mocking him slightly, but he's actually mad. Like he actually wants to yell at him and be like, "Why the fuck would you do that?" No, stop talking. Watch the clip. If I get kicked out tonight, Gavin is base. Everyone says Gavin is base. Gavin is deaf, creepy. Gavin, Gavin, Gavin is cool as fuck. Gavin, get the. I I can't even. They say you're base, bro. You're base. So. Seems like it. These, oh, these, these two, yeah, like, these two. For, until you're these ones okay. out, okay? Keep up with the... Peace out, chat. I promise you, I will come downstairs um, and I will stab you one night. I swear to God, go home. Go home. Oh my God, you broke. Me, Ness, Abby, Relly, once we go home, go home. I, I remember Wait, this. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm not I'm super busy, man. Who asked? Everybody's problem is they Because I come out and I... Because he yelled that. Oh, he yelled like your name, so you walk. Yeah, out. I'm. I'm literally talking right now. Oh, my. He's not saying that you need to go home. Just to be clear. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so he was like, "Oh shit, I woke that up." Oh shit. 
Good. You know what? Hey, Relly, he should stay in your room. <laughs> no, we're good. That's the office. We're going to put the uh, treadmill I, yeah, there. Here's what you can do to make it. Double Hayden's rent, and I won't move in. Why is this guy? <laughs> Wait, who's Hayden? Is this Hayden? <laughs> yeah, like, is it that guy? <laughs> Just told him the guy said to kick him out, double his rent, and I'll go home. <laughs> That's a what? good one. Why is this guy mad? Uh, he's just, he's pissed off because he, um, he, uh, he's been experiencing a lot of issues with, like, Gavin just kind of hovering around him and shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sognik says, can you ask Relly how much he interacts with Gavin? I probably um, not not nearly as much as the other people because Gavin has an issue of hanging around in the common spaces. It's part of the reason why uh, Legacy, the guy in the blue, uh, has an issue with him. It's like whenever he's like making food or something like that, he always feels bugged by him. But um, I don't. I I've spent a fair amount of time. We've gone to the gym three different times. Um, we hung out like one on one. We're chill. Hold on. This Kelby guy, I recognize you from Darius's chat, dude. You are so... The thing you are saying, I'm just going to read the full chat. At JCLK, Darius wanted Gavin to have the desire to read the room. He gave him time to leave. He didn't, so he said leave. Then Darius got upset that Gavin made an excuse to stay after Darius was finally direct. Okay, the desire to read the room? That's like saying you wish the blind person had the desire to see. Yeah. Like, you're, you're wishing for something that doesn't exist and can exist. And so if you're not willing to state your boundaries openly to people before you get to a point where you're mad, then you have to deal with that, okay? And I, again, I don't when trust he, any of these people to actually recount what he said in terms of, like, arguing to stay. Yeah, this is, this is part of the reason why I wish Danny. I actually rely on, I, I think Danny's a very good arbiter of uh, information in my ex personal experience. But um, beyond it, uh, the the critical part of what JSTLK just said about that is also they had the knowledge that this guy had social issues prior. I feel like what they said about hoping somebody reads the room after a period of time, that would probably work if you didn't know somebody had distinct social issues. You, you don't want to be like, hey, leave the room. I need you to leave the room now. You kind of just want them to get the vibe and then leave. I could understand that, you know? Yeah. Um, but that's not at all the situation. Yeah, exactly. Um, sorry, I'm just X Gray Rat keeps saying it's sociopathy. I have yet to see any indication it's sociopathy. So I'll keep hitting play, I guess. Thanks for hitting the summer. How would that help me? <laughs> he, said, he said, he's acting like I'm the creepy one. Uh, he said he's going to stab me in my sleep. That's my move, bro. You can't say that to me. You don't look weird. You don't hate me. I don't want to say it's true. I'm fit about it. You don't hate me. That is true. You don't pay rent so far. I paid for some stuff, but you can't. You don't pay no, for that room. Of course. So I'm waiting for the formal agreement, and that next month I would pay rent. Y'all know that. Yeah, but you you are claiming the room already for your own. Okay, my stuff's in there. So again, wait. Okay, this this is corny. This is corny. He stayed in the room, right? Yeah. Yeah. And no, nobody, we have not had a formal declaration that he can no longer stay in that room. He stayed in that room because we thought it would be cool to have him over. And he kind of just hung out and he drove us around places. So he, he's been chill and stuff like that. There's been some issues. This idea that we're like randomly like, hey, you don't pay rent. You made that room your own. That's bullshit. Okay. He's been kind of integrated into the house. We've talked about him potentially moving in. And there was times when we were like, yeah, like we might finalize you moving in like tomorrow in a couple days and shit like that. So he was just kind of like, okay, I don't want to drive all the way home. I think he lives like, fuck, like 45 minutes or like an hour away. I don't yeah. want to drive all the way home, take all of my stuff back home just to like potentially come back to move in tomorrow. I'll just kind of chill here. We're all vibing. It's a nice time. You know, I drive you guys around and stuff like that. It gives us another car. We're chilling. And that's what the environment has been like. Him just kind of in this limbo of whether or not he's going to have a, a permanent spot here. And so this this idea that he's just some like dude sitting on our couch who has like no reason to believe that he might be here long term is is incorrect. It's not factual. Yeah, I mean, that, two hours away. I, up, I but I got that impression I already. Just that like, like 
Like yelling at somebody who's staying at your place. If you have like a friend come over and they're staying in a room, you've like let them be in that room and they say that's my room. That's like just a literally colloquial way of speaking. They don't literally mean that's my room. I live here now. They're just like, yeah, that's, I agree. That's, and that's to be clear, his room. We didn't, we weren't using that room. That wasn't anybody else's room. It was just an empty room that we were use, uh, using as a potential seventh room for another roommate. And so we were just like, hey, you know what? Just chill here. We had a spare air mattress. We gave it to him, you know, and shit like that. I don't even think he officially has a bathroom. I don't even know if this guy can shower at our house. So the idea that like he's like all moved in and he's like cozy camper, I it's just it's it's not true. All right. Keep moving. There. Keep moving through this. I don't want to. A lot of Darius chatters in here trying to make Gavin seem like an evil guy. I can yeah. room. I'm saying while I'm sleeping in it, it's my room. But you, yeah, but it's not. You're not paying for it, so it's kind of like I would slash will right now. You know, I mean, I'll give you what I got in terms of rent. I don't know if I have. I don't know if I can cover it. Okay, okay, okay. Finish, finish, yeah, I know you can. I know you can. So I'm saying stop talking about okay. your ass. Um, it's a guest room, little bro. It's not a guest room. It's an office space. Asking why he's walking to other people's rooms. Do you walk into other people's rooms? Zena says I did that to her once. I did it genuinely to check on her because she was stressed out this morning. Yeah. And Zena doesn't even have a room, so. Well, it's your room. Uh, do you walk into my room? I have walked into your room. Hold on. Wait, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. You were in Darius's room. You were sleeping in there. That means it's your room for a second in time. Okay, that's what like my room. Anyway, I totally trust your anger with me. I'm not going to reject you. Hmm? Okay, I love you. Do you? Hmm? Um, you can take my nickname. This is literally um, my shirt. I will always be. Yeah. Listen, we'll time 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 we're taking Indica one. If they ask me to leave, I leave. That has been my rule from the beginning. They haven't yet, except for Hayden. But I think. Yeah, you but you. Yeah. yeah. The problem I've had with you is that you're terrible at. Like, you make it so that way people have to be. Like, always tell you what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, it's too. Yes! Tough to <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that is the that is the cost of being around somebody like this. Yes, that's that's how it works. You have to accurately communicate what you want with this guy. You can't be subtle about it. Correct. Yeah, and I like I fully understand how where this guy's head at uh, heads at. Like I don't know. I just again, I feel like if you don't like this, if you are unwilling to accept that, then you you literally just need to tell him to leave. Yeah, right. that's what that's the conversation that I've been having with some of the roommates is like, hey, if you guys are not able to be able to accurately communicate what you want with this guy, number one, kind of a you should learn this skill. It's a very helpful skill to have because you, you're going to interact with people that have difficulties picking up on your social signals. So being able to be direct is a good habit to have. But beyond it, like, yeah, we don't have to have him move in. Like, he, he has no guaranteed space to be here. And if it's causing like emotional distress to multiple people here, then we'll just go back to what we had. Yeah, seems totally reasonable. She doesn't have to tell me she doesn't care about me anymore. I just take a message. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Although I love her dearly. Yes. When people stop responding to me, I still look forward to seeing them. If they're my friend, like you guys. Okay, listen, Joshua. If they have to hint me into leaving, that's their problem. I am in their house, and they can tell me to leave. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. So I, I've talked to him. I, I want to make a statement about that. I've I've talked to him about like that because he's had that line of logic um, specifically to keep readjusting him and say yes, it is true that these people should be more direct with you, but you should also be able to pick up on certain signals to indicate that people are not happy with your presence or like with what you're doing because this is just useful to to have in general as like sure. a skill in life. So, like, I, I'm trying to adjust him to be, like, it's not the onus of other people to, you know, look out for your situation, your social uh, situation. But, like, as friends, as people who know you, we're going to try our best to be able to work with you to help build those skills. Right? Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah. And I, well, the thing is, is, like, you you work on this over time, and you assume you got to meet him where he's at, right? So, I don't know where... Yeah. I don't like I can't you know way better than I I do and yeah like little things like it's like hey if if somebody like won't answer your question or is like you know if they're giving you like two word or one word answers like three times you ask a question just count right hey that's one one word answer that's two one word answers 
There's three. Yep. Okay, I I've upset you in some way. What's going on? Or yeah, right, exactly. like you need to back off of them, right? Like there are yeah. little things you can do, but you, at least when people really have like yeah, autism or some other kind of social dysfunction, like you need mechanisms like that that aren't based on you know just reading body language. It's like mm-hmm. actual actual rules. Yep. In the situation with me and Zena having sex and you watching, um, I told you to leave, and then you, you brought up an issue and you made me have to have an argument with you. So here's the thing. I brought up the issue that I was Gavin, Gavin, shut up. Actually, I'm actually going to stop talking now. If you're going to be this guy that's like, I'm going to be, I'm just going to do whatever people say whenever they ask me to do it. You need to do that. You need to stop having arguments with people because what you're having is you're having a situation where people don't want to, don't want to have an argument with you. So they're just going to let you do whatever the fuck you want and let you just exist there um, until you just fuck off. Or and when you come, when you leave, they're going to be, going to be feel okay. Because they're like, you're gone. I don't have to deal with you. And then you come back and you're like, whatever, dude. I'll just deal with this in the air. Yeah. Until eventually someone kicks them out. I just have one. And I want to say this in a way that's not drama farming or triggering. If what Legacy is saying is true, and well, well, members of this household, well, especially well, females, do not want a male in here because they feel uncomfortable. Well, pause, I'm not finished. You're not leaving the allegations to DG. Me? Because those are your friends. I'm you moved them here I'm from I'm Arizona. Here. Those are your friends. That's. <laughs> I love you, Zena. That's the most manipulative thing I've ever heard you say in my entire life. <laughs> Wait, what? What specifically? I, I'm because that you just implied that Darius isn't beating the sex pest allegations because women in the house are uncomfortable with Gavin, and Darius won't make him leave. Oh, oh if I'll that go, was a, I'll go back and we can listen to it again real quick. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. true. Here, hold on, because it sounds like what Legacy just went and told her was was this. In a way that's not drama farming or triggering. If what Legacy is saying is true, and well, well, members of this household, especially females, do not want a male in here because they feel uncomfortable, pause, I'm not finished. You're not reading the allegations, did you? Me? Just... Do you? Did you get that? Kind of, but she extrapolates here, it sounds like, so. Does I she? Like okay. Because, well, can... you know. sorry, the way I read that is saying, like, yeah, basically, you're not this like, OK, this legacy guy just told me that the women in this house are uncomfortable with Gavin. You're keeping Gavin here. That's what she's saying to Darius. Therefore, you're not beating the DGG allegations of you being a sex pest because you're keeping somebody here who is making the women uncomfortable is how I interpreted that statement. I'll, we'll listen to her extrapolator. Unpack that. Those are your friends I'm, 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 here from I'm, I'm, Arizona. Those are yours. Those people are yours. You brought them and then you brought the strangers home and if they don't feel comfortable and they live here, you need to get this nigga the fuck out. And that's what they're Listen. No. Good. I see you. It looks like you were right. Yeah. I'm going to handle that as a man of the house. Like, the weird bitch will take care of Yeah, but um, I'm going to be throwing with you. Yeah. We do not care. Um, <laughs> Sorry, that was, uh, uh... I shouldn't laugh at that, okay? But it was funny. People are weird because... We better not do it with offsies. If I'm a sex pest, you better not be a serial killer. You're not a sex pest. You're just like, we're, like you're not like able to read them from the room. Like, you, that's why I tell you they have autism, I think. Like, I think that's why I tell you, like, autism. Because, like, you make people confront you, but then when you confront them, you want to talk to them. But you're not even worthy of, like, not in a negative way, but you're not even, like, debating. You're just, like, saying shit. Like, in the conversation I had with you and me, like, me and you, we had the conversation when I told you to leave the room, and you brought up me and Zima's issues. Because it, it, that, like you, I had rubbed in my face all morning. No, 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 no. In a situation where you brought that up, you shouldn't even have been encouraging a conversation. Okay. If you cared about that. So you only cared you about I, it because I affected you and you wanted to be part of the situation. And once I started affecting you, you felt personally slighted. So you brought up an issue with me. Hang on. I'm sorry. I feel like I can destroy you here. I don't know if you're going to like it, but Go the ahead. problem is <laughs> you came as close as you could today, today to tell me, tell me to not bring Zena over here. As close as you could. I think part and of you did. I did, because... So you already did that, so why are you now having an issue once I'm telling you to leave when I'm going to have sex with her? So am I causing you... Am I, yeah, so I'm trying to say, am I causing you trouble if I bring up the... Dude, stop... Dude, dude, I'm literally... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. You, your argument you just made makes me even more uncomfortable. Because here's the thing, if you felt like you... Um, if you, you're, you're telling me right now you process the fact that I didn't want her to come back over, and then you brought her over... Well, with, he had a story about it. She said she wanted to come back. No, 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 dog. But she was already here, and she was already leaning out, and it was already two hours into it after the fact. So, what I think he's saying, (laughs) the music is a little out of place, what I think he's saying is, hey, 
the reason she was coming over wasn't to hang out. She had stuff here that she needed to pick up. So I brought her back to pick up her stuff. And then I was like kind of thinking I should pull you guys apart because you said you didn't want to be back together again or whatever. You just didn't want to hang out again. Is that what he's saying? Okay. Yeah, that's a part of it. And also, he didn't understand the gravity of the situation. So I I had a personal conversation with him about how he probably shouldn't have uh, brought her over because they shouldn't be around each other. And he didn't know the, the, the lore, essentially, of why they shouldn't be hanging out with each other. Um, and so he just didn't really know the gravity of the situation. So he's just like, oh, yeah, I'll just bring her over to do some stuff. Then Darius is like, oh, yeah, actually, I, I don't want her around me. I actually don't don't want all this stuff. And so he's kind of dealing with uh, that situation. Yeah, I... <laughs> you understand, you remember this. I was in the car with Hold on. Was Dude, just, just to be super clear... Darius isn't trying to blame fucking Xena on this guy, right? Um, I don't no, I don't I don't think here in the okay. and I All know right. privately he's not, just to be clear. Okay. I'm not. I'm just like for for a second he's like, yeah, he's upset, but anyway, Honey, keep that, watching. What's your saying right now? No. This is Kim. Kim he's not even trying to can pair up. No, no, that's fine if I'm outside of that. This is this is why I think that dude, you shouldn't hang out with Grace. No, this is why I don't think you should hang out with Grace. I know the argument you're making with me right now is an argument for this person manipulated you and you went ahead and you went ahead and went with it, you ate it, you sucked it up, and then you went ahead and put on other people, which is me, which I told you not to do. No, because you got a story, you got Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. This is this is the pot calling the kettle black right now, right? Wait, I'm sorry, I missed it. Yeah, hold on. He's he's saying you shouldn't hang out with Grace because you're gonna get manipulated, and then it's gonna like, come back, and the negative effects are gonna land on me. Was what he just said to Gavin? Oh, that's that's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> like oh my, did he literally just say that to another person? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Just you gotta catch me. What you're saying right now? No, this is Kimmy. He's not even trying to can pair up. No, that's fine. I'm outside though. This is this is why I think that you shouldn't hang out with Grace. No, this is why I don't think you should hang out with Grace. Because the argument you're making to me right now is an argument for this person manipulated you, and you went ahead and you went ahead and went with it. You ate it. You sucked it up, and then you went ahead and put on other people, which is me, which I told you not to do. No, because he's telling me you got a story, you got blah 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 blah. That made him. I'm sorry. You get it, right? Yeah. That's, uh, that's crazy. To, uh, to be clear, though, if, if it's, um, yeah, Grace should be nowhere near this guy. Um, that's that's absolutely certain because they're very good manipulators, and I feel like, um, unfortunately, Gavin can be manipulated um, somewhat easily. So yeah, yeah, I'm trying to do my best to make sure he knows not to be around those. Uh, absolute subhumans i'm just i'm um, just saying i would love to take like that clip right there and show it to zella and just yeah <laughs> yeah that'd be a, that'd be a good meme anyway did you have more you wanted to add there at the end um the uh no i'm curious where he goes with this argument all right what, what do you think no stop listening okay, before you get what you said females in this house that live here feel sexually uncomfortable why does it hurt it's possible. I've tried to be you. You're having a argument. It's possible. I haven't been made aware of being sexually uncomfortable. I've been made aware of like socially uncomfortable in a similar way that the guy in the blue is. Like this dude just kind of hover around, hovers around, and he gets a bit annoying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is my current knowledge, but um, I'm trying to do more. Uh, talking with people to get down exactly what they want out of the situation. All right. I mean, I don't know. I, again, unsolicited personal advice. It just seems like there's enough people that are not happy with it, that it wouldn't work out, but it does seem like, I don't know, there could be some funny content with this guy. He's like a relatively attractive looking kissless, hugless version, virgin, sorry, not a version. Um, that, I feel like there's content there. Like the idea of like doing Tinder dates with him or something is really, yeah, could be really it's funny. It's a really, really great idea. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh. Yes, as a man, like, you should want to get up and leave her. Yeah, was, like, I do. The reason I have it is because I feel like I can have a comfortable and platonic relationship. With it. So, no, because they don't feel like, dude, you can't, yeah, you, they don't, don't feel, force them to do it. Come you on. are forcing them by being there still. Okay. Instead of giving them time and sense. And then you're like, hey. You know how? You'd be left by trying to bring up issues with that. I don't want to. No, I don't. Okay, you, you, all you are psychopathic and you think that we're tr- he's trying to make an argument. He's bringing up concerning. No, no, he's trying to bring up an argument, a frustration he had, but he only is bringing it up because he feels slighted. 
I didn't feel slighted. I, you did when I told you to leave. You felt slighted. In the room. In the room, yes. You felt slighted because you didn't want to leave, and you never told me you did not communicate with that means that you didn't want to leave. You communicated with me that you are a person that is neutral. You don't give a fuck where you go. But once I told you to leave and you brought that up, you felt slighted. Do not lie to me right now. I'm not like you can tell me whatever you did because you wouldn't have brought up the fact that you're like is this a good idea? And I told. That's why I said like, oh, that's space. I'm, I'm I'm impressed that you brought that up because you acknowledged that. I'm just upset with you that it took you so long to do it. And if you did that prior, like, hey, dude, like, when she came into my room, like, hey, dude, she doesn't need to get her stuff, and then I'm going to take her home. That would have been a different thing. Then what you did is you waited until a moment where I went ahead and told you, get the fuck away from me. Sure. Well, I would be happier seeing y'all do be okay. I feel like I'm trying to express like both of you. So you would be happier seeing us being okay because you are able to commandeer. You're able to be there during it, which during sex. If you're there during it, you're okay with it, which is not okay. That is incredibly bad. That is incredibly, makes me incredibly uncomfortable. Because I don't need you to feel like you need to co-sign what I do in my life. I, I would love, I, irrelevant, irrelevant is somebody who, like, will do the option where it's like, hey, like, if you had the ability to drive me that, you'd be like, hey, this is a weird thing. You said she's doing your stuff, and I'm taking her home. That would be a thing you would do. And that would be based, and I'd be like, thank you, irrelevant, for doing that. But instead, you let her do what she wants to do, you let her live, you let her exist, you let her do all this stuff, and then once it started affecting you, you felt that there was a problem there, and that is not good. That, that's, that shows me... And I hope you can understand that. And I really want you to process. I'm so glad that I'm seeing more of this because I can realize that X Gray Rat is completely untrustworthy, and he is just a massive Darius simp. I have no idea what the fuck Darius is saying right now. Oh, sorry. So, I know what he's saying. Sorry, I know what he's saying. Mm -hmm. I just see no evidence that he's actually correct here. That this guy was. Yeah. Like so, so it was when I had the conversation with him. The the position that I kind of came to was was not that what Darius is saying. It was. Uh, Gavin's motives. I think Gavin felt comfortable with them being around each other as long as he could like moderate their interaction, as long as he could be around there and just kind of do that. This also correlates with previous conversations I had with Gavin prior to Xena even coming here as to why, like, why he like kind of hovers. I'm like, dude, I had a conversation with him, like, why do you kind of do this thing? And he's like, I just feel a need to like make sure that people are doing okay. And that, you know, everybody's all right. Um, like, that's just something that he saw himself, like, as. Like, he's, like, a protector kind of vibe. I'm like, and I was obviously telling him there's, like, ways to go about that that aren't fucking weird. Yeah, but basically, I, when Darius is like, oh, Relly would have done it this way. It's like, yeah, Relly, after having experience dealing with you in this situation, like, 50 times in the past, would have handled yeah. it better. I have no doubt that that's true. But, like, this... This guy's already autistic. How is he supposed to handle a situation that I've watched multiple normal people try to handle with Darius and fail completely? And this guy's yeah. apparently supposed to succeed in this scenario. Also, he had almost no information at the time of driving her over as to how their relationship like goes down. Like he didn't, he didn't even have enough information to be able to see it or to see the problems. Anyway, um, I'm gonna continue. You probably have to go soon, right? Yeah, very soon. Okay, do you want me to pull Grey Rat in then? Do you want to... Because he wants to come sure, in and yeah, argue with me. Sure. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. What's up, Grey Rat? How's it going? Wait, am I audible? Yeah, you're audible. Yeah. Okay. So here's the pers here's the perspective I'm I'm leading with, right? Gavin seems to very clearly understand, like, where the faults are, but he still does it anyways like every time when um darius would bring up a point he's like yeah that makes sense but he still did it sure but is he is he just agreeing with darius because he doesn't actually know how to say like no i didn't see that or is he like because that's what he's done yeah, multiple times in this what, yeah, where he basically had no idea what darius is saying and he's just like okay like he's not saying he's okay a very agreeable person he's just saying okay i could i could probably go down there and then get him to say yeah i can see that for me saying he looks black I could probably get him to say, yeah, I could see that. I unironically bet you I could right now. But um, in, in, in the conversations that I've had with him, he'll often say like, yeah, no, I can see that. And then he'll give his point for why he doesn't feel that that's not often. But he'll sometimes do that, give a little bit of pushback. And that, to me, is more of his real intention. He kind of goes along with it. You know how people do this, like even non-autistic people do this, where they go like, yeah, yeah, no, I see what you're talking about. And then they'll give a like justification or something for their actions that kind of contradicts ex them agreeing with what they just said. Like, oh, no, yeah, I could see why you'd be angry at me. But like, you also got to keep in mind that I'm like 
you know, running on little sleep and I'm, you know, I, I didn't really understand what's going on. Very common thing. And I think he does a similar thing. Okay. He's just agreeable and then gives pushback. I understand that. But when it comes to doing things that are just like very outside of the norm and he doesn't understand why what he's doing is like, like you should have chose a different path, but he keeps pushing forward. Like that seems more like sociopathy more than like anything else to me. What, like, what do you he, mean? He seems, you should have chosen a have... different path, but you keep pushing forward. Because the whole, the whole sitting there in the room while him and Zeno were doing their thing, like, like no, nothing was for stream. Like, and and the whole, the whole time, like this all happened with him having like the understanding that Darius does not want this to happen, but he let it happen, and he's just sitting there, like, what. Wait, no, no. You can say that that's the understanding that Darius had. I'm not sure he accurately communicated that um, even to a like normal person. Like, I'm not even sure the body language that they had. Maybe they were like really vibing or something with it. I wasn't there. I wasn't present. But one thing I know for a fact is they didn't strictly and, and directly communicate it to Gavin, who has issues picking up on social issues, and they knew that, or social um, cues, and they knew that. And so and that's. Go ahead. But that that's pointing because like if he doesn't if he's not aware that like this is a problem, but he's just sitting there like how is that like how is that like someone hold on holding uh okay all right all okay. right I will agree it's a problem that he doesn't. Um, pick up on those social cues, but I'm trying to work with him to help understand that a little better. Oh, yo, Hassan got a job! <laughs> Someone just sent, sent me this tweet. I had to throw it up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if Grey Rat's here. Okay, just like, oh, I, I have to. I have to forfeit. I have to forfeit. But I, I will not. I will not give up on this fight. Okay, you keep you telling know, everyone that Gavin's a safe path. Okay. I want it noted I, that. The exact thing that I just said, where somebody will be agreeable and then say the opposite, is exactly what you just did. I will forfeit, but I will not give up on this point. You, you no, just contradicted yourself. The, you either problem, forfeit or you. The problem is, is that he, like he has like an attachment to Darius. Okay, so you don't forfeit. I just want to make that clear. No, I, I, I have to go, but I, I just, I'm just saying, like he has an attachment to Darius, and like he, he's just like refusing to like break off from like his his idea that he has to stay there for some reason uh it sounds like he's done that with everybody in the house Wh which is my point like it, it seems like a it, like it it's like that's a, not it's, sociopathy at all it, that, it that's not even like what hollywood thinks sociopathy is as far as i knew sociopathy isn't even really well, a thing hollywood. in psych either we're not talking about hollywood we're talking about like normal average everyday people okay what do you uh okay you gotta go i would ask yeah, you what sociopathy yeah. means to you but you can go uh, uh yeah okay there we go okay try to finish up as much of this as we possibly can right now how you felt there i'm being so dead ass with you right now i want you to like really 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 find how you felt because there's no there's no negativity i don't feel a little towards you i can sense you 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 felt that you just were hurt by me and you wanted to go ahead and bring something up to remind me what the, the goal was that we're on the same I won't deny that I was slighted, but truly my motivation there was love for you. Because I love for me. Why did you not show me that love earlier? If I leave me? No, by telling me, hey dude, you're doing a bad thing. Why when I was doing the bad thing? Because you said things to me like you don't want my advice, and so I feel like I don't Then why would you give me my advice that. once I tell you to fuck off? I guess yeah, you're right. We always go back to this thing where I fuck with you, I do something that you feel like you're slighted with, or you feel like you're I'm hurting you, and then you go back How many druggies have you farmed now? I have no idea what that means, Finn. Where it's like, oh, I'm hurt. Well, then I'm going to go ahead and remind you of this thing that I now decided of. If you told me that beforehand, I'd be like, Shreve, we're on a, we're on a similar wavelength right now, but we're not. You, once, it took me to affect you and what you were doing with where you were having a comfortable well, time. That's, yeah, go ahead. To, to be able to address my situation. If you, told, if you did that beforehand, I'd be more on your team right now. But the fact that you did that after I told you something that was hindering what you wanted to do. Well, so the thing I would say here, what seems most probable to me, is that he was having a hard time expressing anything, but now he was being told, like, you have to leave the room, and you're going to be completely out of control of the situation. And that was, like, the, the light bulb for him, where he's like, oh, I won't be able to, like, take her away anymore if I leave. Yeah. So then he's like, yeah, you guys probably shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be together at all, right? Yeah.
So I don't. To my knowledge, that is what would what had happened. Okay. Yeah. Well, you could say you didn't want to do it. You don't carry the weight. No. But what you're telling me right now makes me think you didn't care about it till afterwards. Can you please choose the music? Do this <laughs> niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying, dog? I do. I feel like, yeah. I feel like I do. Because I, I do the same shit. Where, like, I, I do the same shit in a different way where, like, with relevant. Music kind of does slap, though. From, like, my situation until he tells me. And it's like, did I ever give a fuck about this issue? Because I needed this nigga to tell me. But, like, if I could, if I, 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 I talk to him, he tells me he doesn't like this. He tells me to stop. And then I don't bring up, bring it up until he actually, like, Starts, I don't bring up the issues or I bring up the problems with it until we actually start talking about it. When I should have just done this beforehand because I care about him as a person. Mm -hmm. And I acknowledge that, which is with, especially with Grace and all this other dumb shit, which is what I'm trying to like be better at. The shit with Xena is like a whole different thing I've talked to him consensually about. But like with Grace and all this other shit, like it's like, it's like a whole thing. Okay, I do have to go, but I do want to make a statement about um, uh, Darius interacting with Grace. He showed significant improvement. I actually didn't think he would. Now, as to why he was improving, some people had their theories, like maybe it was because Xenar was around or something. But either way, he showed significant improvement in that situation. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, Grace was in the vicinity and he managed to avoid her for the vast majority of her being around, uh, which is improvement. That's a dub. No matter how you see it, that's a dub. Um, I gave him praise. I'll give him praise again. Hopefully, we continue to see um, improvement into the future for him avoiding uh, maniacs like uh, like that. So, uh, yeah, uh, right. he didn't avoid Zeno, which is uh, worse. Uh, I disagree because this is something I had a conversation with other people. Uh, Grace is not only destructive to Darius, but she's also destructive to other people around him. She weaponized a friendship that he had to be able to fuck him over and then make him spiral into uh, talking about suicidal ideation that is disgusting and completely uh, insane that she would weaponize his friends to do that. Um, Xena, to my knowledge, has never done something like that and doesn't wrap his friends in this uh, uh, up into these emotionally manipulative uh, things outside of um, her own self-harm which i think is distinctly different yeah I, um, I just i have to echo that final part just like when xena when xena is spiraling she will include darius's friends but it's not as in like oh like we just want to has a funny bit we're gonna like fuck darius over it's like she's having her shit crumble and she's reaching out for support it's not that she's yeah. like trying to overtly just attack him i think that's been what i've seen so yeah, and then the last thing, because somebody says, Xena swatted your house in Arizona. So to my knowledge, yes, she did call the police on our house. That was a problem that she did. I didn't see the intention for actual swatting. It looks like she just called like the cops for like a noise complaint or something like that. Like it wasn't a whole swatting, which you can say that's a, a whatever difference, but I consider that to be a very large difference because they weren't coming in pointing guns at us. There were literally just people like, Yo, we heard there was noise. What's up? Um, number one. And number two, that was targeted Darius. Okay? The issue, the big difference, Grace targets people around Darius. People in this house, people who are friends with him, and they manipulate them, and they do shitty things. Xena targets Darius. So it's his own problem. Xena is Darius's own problem. Grace is everybody's problem. So that's um, a, a distinct difference there. Much love, JST. Okay? Uh, yeah, thanks for coming on. Yeah, I'll talk to you later, bro. Yeah, I'll talk you. to you later. See ya. All right, guys. We're going to finish this VOD real quick. I'm just switching headphones here really, really fast. We're going to finish this VOD, and then we're going to go back to the Hassan stuff. Let's go. All right. Just need to fix up. When I switch, unfortunately, on Windows, it's just not smart about me switching audio devices. So I have to go to like Discord and set it back. Also, Discord somehow is like screwing up my default audio device all the time. So I have to like manually set it in Discord every time I switch headphones, which is just a nightmare. Make sure I'm on. Okay, I should be good. Nice. Okay, I'm good. You told me today to not let her take my soul. Yeah. You saying that? She your soul? I think I'll let your soul. What? Wait.
What was it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's that. You missed it. No, you missed that one. Oh, turns out he's back. What's up? Turns out I don't have to go. I have about 30 minutes to an hour. Oh, nice. Well, we'll finish this up then. Yeah, we need to go that. I think he said there was... I, woke, I, woke, I woke up after... I woke up after... At 8 o'clock in the morning, and he, he was driving you around, and like trying to figure out if you were to drive you back to something, I was like, don't yeah. let your soul get taken. And then I ended the call. Because I didn't know what the fuck this nigga was doing, because he was like, I'm just going to do my own thing. But again... But again... It's complicated. But it's not really complicated. It's complicated. It's not really... It's not really... But what does this have to do with the root, the crux of the issue right now? That's the crux of the issue. To me, because you're still getting your you're letting your soul get taken by letting her do whatever the fuck she wants. I don't know. No. Do you have, Dude, this is confusing for a non-autistic person. Okay, this is incredibly confusing. What the fuck he's trying to say? Even for a very socially literate person, what the fuck is nigga yapping about, bro? I like so just real quick because I might be an autistic person here too. He's just saying like, "Hey, Zena's probably going to tell you some shit. Like, she's going to try to get you on her side. So, like, you have to be wary of her." Is that what he's saying? Don't get your soul taken. Um, I think so. Okay. There's like several different interpretations that I could think of that he's used similar like verbiage. Like, she'll take your soul. And like one of those contexts was where it was like jokes about Gavin dating Xena or kissing Xena or something like that or getting with Xena. Okay. He's yeah. like that. So I'm not certain, to truly be honest. All right. <laughs> Gavin, I, no, just okay. Block his I'm going to point out real quick, real quick. I've gotten in trouble for blinking and I've gotten in trouble for eye contact. Are you guys smoking my weed stuff? Okay. What is this Mario Kart ass playlist? Uh, my stairs getting this some uh, defense. Super cute anime music, dude. For Perfect mood music for mid twenties people um, doing drugs and having discussions about whether or not the cucking session this guy just went through is okay. Yep. The best soundtrack. For a guy that's trying to explain to care a lot about me and they want to make sure I'm okay. But is doing things. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to articulate to you, Gavin, that you are being. You are selfish, and that is fine to be selfish because I am a selfish person. I am very much, and I've been so to my friend relevant, and I feel bad about that. And I'm trying to get you to understand that you are being selfish as well, and I want you to process that because if you don't, I cannot trust you as a person. I'm not. Even well, also, to be clear here, I don't think he's really been selfish towards me, unless you want to say in some manner when it comes to the grace situation, but like. I don't. I don't think he's really been selfish in regards to me, but yeah, you know, I don't know where he came from. That, but I have no idea. I when you're telling when you're telling me right when you're people people just be yapping and saying whatever. Like it's it's like um, Darius doesn't do this all the time, but I feel like in this situation he's doing it. Sometimes people just say things that like they've heard other people say with like no connection to their own thought process. It's very yeah. it's very strange sometimes. Telling me dead in my face. I cared about you, then and I, I, I said those things because of what you said about her taking my soul. You no, 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 hold on there. Okay. Don't like that. I was with you until that. You were being I, selfish because once I told you I that you couldn't I'm get selfish. what you wanted, in that moment, you were being selfish. Okay. Maybe you're not okay. a selfish person. No, I think he's talking about in like the sexual context now with the soul then. That like, oh, I told you you couldn't have sex with her, you shouldn't have sex with her, or something, something like that. Yeah. yeah. I, I think. Okay. You, need to you were being up. selfish. Because I told you to go away, I didn't want you in the room, and then after that, sure. after I think it was like thirty minutes of Zena like dry humping me, um, touching my dick, and me telling you like, "Hey, Gavin, you need to leave the room." Not leave. I'm not sorry. Not leave the room. But like, why the fuck are you here, Gavin? Why are you doing? You were just like, "I'm just here to hang. I just want to care. I don't really care. I, I, wish... I just want to be here. I, 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 I can hang out anywhere I am." Is what you were telling me. Yeah. Like, you were you saying, were already, that was already a whole part of the Yeah, but you were saying, I can hang out anywhere I am. I don't care. I felt okay, like once I told you to leave so that we can do what I wanted to do, then you decided to bring up an issue, which was the issue I had with myself, with, with Zena. So once I, show, once I started saying, like, hey, I want to go ahead and do something, then you decided to bring it up. 
Whereas the whole time something was happening and you could have been like, hey, this probably shouldn't be happening, Darius. How do you feel about this? And that would have been pretty base. That, I'm, I'm telling you. If, but pretty base. Like when we were hanging out, if you, as like I said, when you brought into my room, if you said, hey, Darius, she needs to go home. I'm going to bring her home. I would have, we don't ever have a conversation. That's, but you only brought it up true. once it affected you. That's, a, a, I completely, okay. I got shit for saying that, but no, I, let me restate that point. You're right. It is something that I wanted to bring up and I didn't bring it up until it personally affected me. Yeah. That's true. That's 100% okay, cool. true. Okay. There was something I wanted to say. Oh yeah, it was about, I kind of felt like y'all were shit testing me. I wasn't sure we would ever talk about this on stream because we were already having a conversation about, I feel like maybe, no, we didn't touch on it yet. We didn't touch on it until it personally affected me, you're right. But we were having a conversation about that I am in the room and I'm chilling and I'm having fun. And I'm not sure, and I had, no, I hadn't brought up yet that I wasn't sure if y'all were chilling, if y'all were going to be cool with each other. But as soon as it came up that we were, that it, so, we so were talking about the fact that I soon, I no, as soon as it came up that, started I, no, as soon as it came up, the idea of you leaving so I could fuck her, you, got, that's when we brought it up. Does Darius think, like, it, sorry, put this in, like, really regular terms, does Darius think he's jealous, like, that this guy had a crush on Xena, is that kind of where he's going with um, this? Um, maybe, honestly, I'm not sure. I'm just doing. Hi, Cherry. Um, bunch of people are saying yes. Sognik says no. Um, I, I, I'm not particularly certain, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I think that it could just be that he's trying to communicate to uh, Gavin that he has, he was like he had a sexual interest, and that he got upset when that sexual interest was not um met it, when it wasn't like he he realized he couldn't indulge anymore okay yeah i i maybe understand that but like he's saying yeah okay it could be either one I'll, i'm trying to keep my mind open to either one just fuck him right now in front of you i'm gonna have sex with him in front of you I you think that's <laughs> you didn't bring that up at all. You didn't say anything about it. You're like, I don't care. I'm just here to. I'm just here to ask. I don't think you want my advice about what to do with your horniness, bro. I think that would be goofy. But you did once I told you to leave the room. True. So. So, do you need advice about what to do with your horniness? Is everything chill except for me? No. So why did you do that? Why did you once bring I, it up then? What once I brought you? I was me. explaining why I didn't want to leave. Uh, no, Dan. Part of it. And why was why did you want to leave? I was curious about the cuck thing, and I was curious, I wanted to make sure you all were chilling. It seemed pretty chill from where I was sitting. We should go in the room and show them the relative positioning of things. I think that would help paint the picture. <laughs> of course. <laughs> For you, not me. No, not with three dimensions, bro. With three dimensions, you'd see that there's a blanket there, and it was actually, it was like a movie scene. It was very artsy. I didn't see much. Uh, the eye contact was like mostly what I saw, and like a little bit of like arch. Jesus Christ. Ain't no way, bro. Am I getting fucking trolled right now? 100%. <laughs> I'm glad you fucking noticed. You're not trolling me. <laughs> Sognik, I don't care if I'm weird. These people like being watched. They're streamers. <laughs> fucking Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Uh, I mean, Zena said imagine she was fine with it. Your, imagine having your autistic in between a roommate fucking watch you have sex with your girl. <laughs> what the fuck, Drew? Huh? They're just as weird as he is. Is my mic working? Yeah, it's working. Yeah. It was offline. Well, it was not streamed. Yeah, I know it was not streamed, Sognik. We all understand. This is a section. Who is the person we you guys keep referring to as the autistic one? Yeah, yeah Gavin. Who's the new roommate? Left. No, uh, he's not potential a roommate. No. But yeah. Oh, potential. Okay. Probably not as potential anymore, to be this honest. Person but... Found on Tinder or? Nope. I think it's really literally left. just a fan of Darius and showed oh. up downtown. Oh, okay. 
yeah, I mean, that is another huge thing that they're weird as well. Like, it wouldn't be, this wouldn't happen with me. I'd be like, get the f- right? Like, you would yep. just be like, get the fuck out of here. I'm not continuing until you leave. Like, get out. Yep. But anyway. All right, so tomorrow I will leave my own volition. But I think we should think this, because I think y'all will be happy to see... Uh, yeah. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, I told you it's la- tomorrow's the last day of the boys day, so you're gone. Okay, sounds so, like fine. And then we'll figure it out. All right. Hold up. Okay, I want it noted right now. They are teaching really shitty things. I didn't even know this happened, okay? This conversation happened. They're talking about how he needs to leave. Legacy has said several times, go home. Where's the follow-through? Nobody is following through. Nobody is like, in the morning, hey, Gavin. Get the fuck out. Nobody's like, hey, pack your shit, leave. They're just saying, hey, you need to get out. And then once the shit like comes time, they're just like, ah, whatever. There's no follow through here. They're they're like teaching him to not listen to what they say. And like uh, respect well, the boundaries that people think, are saying. I don't know about this guy, the legacy guy, but with Darius, it's just the conflict avoidance thing again. Like being completely conflict avoidant. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think Legacy has um, I think he, he isn't afraid to get in, sorry I know that guy is not afraid to get in conflict that, I almost got in a fight because of that guy because he wouldn't drop some shit um, but he he has very little follow through as well he'll just say shit like that and then later he'll just be like, ah, whatever. like not that big of a deal and, All right. and I just I hate that like if you want to make that statement you got to follow through with it otherwise it, like people in general, not even just autistic people, people in fucking general are going to learn to not give a fuck about what you say. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, so yeah. Darius is so conflict avoidant that he had sex in front of this person, but now he's telling him he has to go home the next day. Like now is when he's setting know. boundaries. I think, I think a bit of him was like curious how far, I think between Xena and Darius, they were curious how far they could string along Gavin to just sit there and watch them. I think that's what happened. They were having fun in the moment. Yes, I think uh, And then now they're presenting it as you you were doing something weird when really I, everyone was. I think the implic they're implying it um a little bit. I don't think they're directly saying, Hey, you're weird for sitting there and watching. They've said a couple times, like, yeah, we went along with it or whatever, but then when we told you to leave, that's when things got weird. But um Yeah, there like is not in a way that not in a way that he can definitely understand, but the rest of us watching it would pick up on that, would feel that. Yes, I think most people watching are getting the implication that this dude is this weirdo for watching <clears> them <throat> go through with the sex act, which, I mean, that's a pretty weird thing to do, just like in an objective sense. Like, he's no, somewhat well, new I to think the thing. He's definitely weird, 100%. Mm-hmm. But, like, yeah, but, but he's he has the context only one. to believe that that's okay with them. Yes, like in his mind, it seemed like they were cool with it. He was cool with it. So, like, what's the harm? But the rest of us don't have that context or that understanding. Um, and this just sort of looks like bullying. Uh, in to what do you, what do you mean? The rest of us don't have that context. I guess from you, it, I think I've heard you give explanation. Um, or more understanding about things that have happened. I think you just said that, like, the next day, they didn't follow through on the boundary or anything like that. Like, nobody pushed him to. So it just seems like he might have the feeling like it's okay that he behaves this way and that maybe sometimes they will complain, but, like, it doesn't really mean anything. The rest of us don't know that and maybe look at the complaining on stream and think this guy doesn't fucking get it, even though... Oh, yes, yeah. It seems like they are... Yeah. yeah, off stream they probably make it really difficult to get. Yes, there's there's some some of that is on stream and some of it is off stream where they're not making doing like follow through and the way that it's represented on stream is that they've told this guy a hundred times he needs to cut it out and he needs to leave and shit like that, but it's that's just simply uh not the case. Yes. Okay. So Darius and Zena are back together? Um, who knows? Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's happening. The think. context of this guy like bringing Zena over for this whole situation happening in the first place is that Darius basically, or sorry, 
he, his understanding was like, hey, Xena can't be around me because it's like not going to be good. Like that was sort of what was said to him. Yeah. So like, like everyone. So I don't know. You wouldn't say that about somebody you're back to dating, basically. Mm-hmm. Totally, totally. Two, yeah, you're so funny. <laughs> you're just looking for. I find you. I mean, I you realized you were saying something earlier about how you could influence people's behavior. Like, I'm just immune to cringe because that's how I'm starting to live to you. Yeah. Hey. What do you think about that? About how we're going to get to the you are. Okay. Oh, me neither. I've enjoyed our time together. Sorry, that's tremendously funny to me. Did not see his dick. Zero stop, percent. Stop, stop. <laughs> How ironic! Your legacy is worse than you today. My Kajogi. <laughs> that's wild. Uh, but it's it's wild. It's it's actually wild. This is the rare. <laughs> Very rare. Uh, super. Um. Like I feel like you're trying to. That's interesting. The only thing I'm trying to I'm trying to do right now is to show that it it adds to my thing of like I don't feel like Gavin, you, you are you feel about Gavin as much as I, Gavin I I like you and that's how you feel the reason why I don't you're good the Go ahead. people the reason why I don't want you to hang out with greats because I feel like I know you a little bit I know you understand yourself very much um I know you understand your self very much but I know how susceptible you are to a little bit of dumb shit. And I not like like I know you, I know you are doing your own shit, and I know you just want to have fun, and you just want to do your own thing, and it's fun to watch other streamers. Mm-hmm. But Ben and Grace, I've experienced myself um, with the way they interact, and the way they're very nice, and they're very they're very homey. They make you feel very at home, make you feel very nice. Um, and even if my my family is very toxic. So okay, yeah, but the exact way that they tried to do that set up all my internal red flags. Like I, there's absolutely no way those. If I never existed, me. you would have been trapped in their thing. I'm I wouldn't not. if you. If, if I never talked to you, if to I be fair, if he, I, if he didn't exist, he, they wouldn't be interacting with him. <laughs> yeah. Also true, yeah. I was just going to say, that was weird that he... It is a little weird to me that he's saying, oh, they set off all my internal red flags, because I wouldn't expect that out of somebody who's like very, very socially weak, right? I th- I think... I don't, this I don't think so. From him. No, I think, I think that makes sense. Him. Okay. That he's just... Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, like you, you believe that you that you would see red flags and avoid them. Everyone thinks that. And then they end oh, up in sure, situations sure, sure, where sure, they're sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's what I'm really speaking to the, uh, to the, uh, I'm, I'm speaking to the truth of the, Oh, thing, oh okay. but I, I agree like with you that. Yes. Yeah. He thinks that he's not hundred percent. You, you think that's just the thing he's saying. He doesn't actually, he didn't actually have red flags going off. He's just saying that, no, no, no. Like I would have been fine. They were setting off my red flags. Mm-hmm. Now yeah, that he's aware of, of what he's yeah, doing. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Like, or hang out with you. Not even hang out with you. If I didn't exist, I think you would engage with them very lovingly. Uh, if you didn't exist, I would never have commented. <laughs> I mean, like, hold on. What did I say? I mean, I mean, for sure. But one my, my thing is that you have a grounding from them, which is like, oh, Darius. Like, the way I have a grounding. Oh, that them, makes sense. Okay. Which is Relly. Relly tells me, like, okay, like, even though they're saying saying all these things, I understand, like, what I can do, like, I, I understand, like, a solid meme at the end. Uh, which is, like, I almost hung out with them today, because I was like, whatever, but then I had that. my grounding, which is Relly, and everything like that, like, hey, it's the guy been like, dumb, I've been doing this shit with them on repeat, and it doesn't work out, I need to have my grounding. Um, I don't want to do this, but I don't know. Hey, but... All I'm trying to say, all, all I'm trying to say is that, like, I've been curious for a while what happened with Nadouche. Somebody mentioned that in chat, and also, even what? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We can talk about it at some point. Also, also, also. I think I lost it. No. Oh, just that. Um. All I'm trying to say is that it makes. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna. Some, I'm gonna finish this quickly. Simple. Go ahead. The the situation with the hot the the sec. I will say just um. Watching this guy, like, the way he interacts while talking to people, this would probably frustrate me over a long period of time. Where he, like, I I don't know if this is intentional, but he's, like, leaning in and, like, he's, like, trying to force eye contact when Darius is looking away and stuff. I could see how that would, like, grate on people. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh, remember he's on Molly? That's probably fair. 
until after they're on the Molly right now. He's pretty similar this way off of it. He's well, he is. Similar. He is on Molly, is what people have said. Yeah, I don't know about Darius or the other guy. Uh, you brought up that issue, which I thought, which I, I even said, I was like, that's a pretty good point. But I was really upset that you only brought it up once you felt slighted, which makes yeah. me feel like in order for you to be a good friend for me, I need to do something to make you upset or I need to, or something needs to happen that affects you personally, which is the issue I have with like, which is the issue I have right now where I, I, I don't want to be like, oh, I need babysitters because it's gay as fuck. But I need people that are surrounded around me that are able to say, like, Darius, you're just making a bad decision. Don't do that. Um, instead of just letting me exist. Danny lets me just, like, do dumb shit, and that's not good. Oh, that's, about kicking Z now. That's, that's not true. Hold on. That's really not true. Part of the reason why I, I love the, uh, the nigga Danny is because they will often tell him when he's doing retarded shit. And, like, in a pretty – like, Danny is quite confrontational. Which is weird because Danny's is like very like yo, like oh you know very happy go lucky, but like if you're doing something stupid, like Danny will shut down a conversation and be like, actually that's weird. So I actually well, disagree with that. And sorry, right now like I he's just saying random shit. Okay, <laughs> I love you, Darius, but like you're just saying random shit. You don't need people. You need to figure out systems on your own to do this shit. You can't just say, oh, I, I need friends who control me. That's what this guy needs. Why are you judging him? Like, yeah. if, if this guy needs babysitters, you need babysitters. You guys, like, I understand why you're like, okay, you can't. I understand what he's saying from, like, a logical perspective. But, like, in terms of growing on your own, dude, you gotta, you gotta figure out some shit for yourself. You can't, you can't, can't be Darius and then judge this guy this harshly, in my opinion. True. Do you, think, do you think he's just repeating what people have said to him to this guy? Uh, that actually might be accurate. Yeah, that actually could be a pretty good read. Um, giving the same advice that he's gotten um, to, to Gavin. That wouldn't surprise me, actually. Um, but also, I see some people in chat pushing back against... Um, like, the idea that uh, Danny is confrontational. Maybe not on stream, but... I swear to God, if I could stream some of the private conversations or make public some of the private conversations I had with Danny, extremely based, okay? Extremely based. We'll, we'll put it that way. All right. Okay. Are you, I'm in the hot seat right now, so. Zena, Zena can seem cool as possible, but we've already had conversations about Zena okay. prior to your even being here. You've well, had conversations with Relly, Relly, but you've had conversations probably privately with Relly about Zena and her existence. Yeah, so, I mean, you're still saying she's cool without even like acknowledging any of the other information that was in the area. So, I was a viewer. Y'all moved two hours away from me. Yeah. I showed up. And you I'm showed up, but you've had. And really, I wasn't worried about any of But you've had very you. intimate, personal conversations with me. Yeah, it's really like we're friends now. Uh, Aiden. Yeah, you feel like we're friends, but what did, what did you gain from anything we've talked about privately? That would be almost impossible to explain. I've gained character growth. Have you gained any of the information we've given you about, like, specific things? I think so. Like... Yeah, Zello, we're seeing a lot more views now. It's pretty sweet. Thank you for noticing. Hey, what's up, Zella? I do. Okay, this is that's an interesting point. Fiddly cat, can I address fiddly cat? Do I have your permission? What have you gained? No. So, like, when I have a conversation with Relly about Grace, Xena, all this stuff, the, the problem I have the most, and I'm acknowledging it now, and I, I know I'm, I was retarded before. The problem is, what am I doing differently? What am I getting from the conversation to be able to actually learn something new? Yes. And you guys do not know anything about it. I've not been vocal about it, but I've done things new with Xena. With Grace, there is nothing new that I can do with Grace to make our relationship better or worthwhile in any way, shape, or form. And my be friends, somebody can gain or benefit off of. I mean, in a real sense, like on a rocky, yes. Wait, who was that too? You were Hades, right? That was to Grace or other people. These people are, we're like starting to analyze. I, I now am at the point where I'm like, these people are too tired to actually keep having this conversation. 
Like I'm like trying to I'm trying to listen hard to what Darius is saying so I can parse it. And I feel like he is he might just be re- uh, repeating shit Relly said to him because I think he uh he's like he's just dying. He's just tired. Oh, I can't hit pause. I can't hit my space bar to play both menus up. That's a game not funny to deal with it. So the remorse of the situation, I think, is worth contemplating for someone like me. Because, yeah, I literally thought it was chill until I found out it wasn't chill. And then I had made my friends... By the way, just throwing it out, I cannot believe that this dude's 27. He is 27. This dude looks like 21 tops. Yep. I'm just just saying. So, Crazy. Does that make any sense? Cat? What's, your, what's your diagnosis? What's your... What's your what am I saying? Uh... Also, keep in mind, though, there is, like, a like a baby face filter. Like, it's smoothing filter. Oh, right, 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 yeah. What's your diagnosis been yet? Am I a sociopath because my remorse or something like that is based off of how the people I care about feel? Because when I thought they were comfortable with it, and they totally convinced me they were comfortable with it, yeah, I didn't feel any remorse. Now, I do feel remorse. I'm sorry if I made... No, not even... That's what I'm going to say. It's not I'm sorry I made you uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Hey. Yeah, real quick. Do you understand real quick? Or just... This is another conversation. We've had like five conversations about this today. What was it today? No, last three four hours of this. Bro, you're drunk. That's everything happened. We talked about it. Once upstairs, talked about it out here. Oh, you mean y'all, not you and me, everyone else. People who aren't me and you. What conversation? What the fuck are you talking about? Today? Nah, I'd punch him. At this at this point. This motherfucker is smiling at me, at me saying, we talked about this five times. And he looks at me and smiles. I'm going to hit him. Thank you, Cherry, for that. Uh, I'm sorry. Advice that I will pass on. To I'm on the spectrum, so if he's autistic, this is a. Uh, you, you can hit your own, right? Not a hate crime. Not a hate crime. True, not a hate crime. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking now. He blinks when I say Jesus Christ's name in Latin. Okay. <laughs> good one, Zena. Yeah, let me see. That's a good point. Um, do they. Uh, we would have to scroll up at this point. I like Darius, knew Gavin was an autist. I, so here's the thing I know Gavin has like autistic tendencies for sure. I'm just trying to figure out how to. Like how much, how, I don't know where it goes or where it ends. And when Zena is having sex in front of me, and I'm, I'm like, dude, why are you here? Like, why do you have desire to be here? And it's just like, I'm having- Well, because I felt responsible. I brought her here. Is that not a good, it's a deal, you don't think that's valid? I brought her back. You told me, you told me that I could have left her. I'm like, no, I'm not, not even, I'm not even like joking. Okay, this is gonna sound so autistic, but if you brought home a baby cat, right? You saw a straight cat on the street. You brought the cat home. You brought the cat home. Why is he going to cats? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's not a boss at the base. The <laughs> Everybody's hanging out with the cat initially. They're like, oh, I like the cat. The cat starts walking to my room to hang out with me in my room. Snatch at the door and me hang out with the cat. Do you feel like you'd have to come in my room to come hang out with me? Why would you not make the, si- the, the situation analogous? Like, that's him re-entering the room. No. No? No. Why do you feel like me and Zena, after you've already brought the cat in, that was really probably He's just, he's, uh, I'm sorry. You have agency, dude. You, you told him, hey, don't like let this happen. And then once you were finally like, you should leave the room. He was like, oh shit, I let it happen. I, I need to like say something. I don't, uh, while we're having sex. Yeah, I would say because it felt like, if you were here with her, you don't remember. So you're useless right now. Literally, the topic of the conversation before y'all were having sex, I feel it like, was the fact that I am looking for directness from you. Literally. I don't know. I, 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 it felt like you were just trying to just dismiss me by starting to have sex with somebody. I like, know you have like, toxic behaviors. Like, 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 she talked to me about it all morning. You talked to me about I, it? No, not just starting. She was on my dick. She, I'm sorry. She, okay, she, should I tackle her off of you? She literally made herself come while she was on top of me. And you should have talked, you should have talked her out of it. Like, like, <laughs> Wait, hold on. This seems Can very important. Her out of coming? Did Xena actually get off before Darius said, could you leave the room? Uh, are you asking me? I, I am literally never going to inquire about you. <laughs> that sounds like what he's saying. Like, he waited until Xena came, and then he was like, hey, Gavin, by the way, leave. Get out. <laughs> 
Like, like, sorry, at that point, I wouldn't be shocked if Gavin was like, this is what they want. See, she's really yeah. into it. I don't know. You think it's a really good idea? You could even send it like in a joking way. But you didn't, yeah, like, you, didn't but communicate, it. you didn't communicate anything at all. And I asked you, I asked you a million times. Cause I was, I was, I was trying to figure out what the fuck you were doing, like what was going on in your fucking brain. And, huh. and now I know. I think it's for everybody here. Uh, Zena said yes. That is accurate. I can't communicate with you at all, like in any way, shape, or form. Awkward. Even in moments where I'm trying to desperately, Fuck. I'm like asking, what the fuck? What are you doing? What's going on? Like, what is what is your goal here? Like, what the fuck are you doing? If you're talking, if you're, if you're yes, sir. If you if you tell me, I don't know how to communicate this. He's zoned. Yeah. No, yeah. Bob. Not quite. It's been a trajectory getting here. Uh, so like, I'm gonna save a lot of money by not paying you already. Like, I was never gonna be upset by that outcome, you know? Gavin, I'm gonna drop an anvil on you, bro. Like, you under so, like, oh, dude, this is what you take out of what I just said, man. Well, you're yeah. not you're not even being narcissistic. You're just being retarded, dude. Like, I'm not I'm not even trying. To, I'm not. That's dude. What? Why even say that right now? I feel like he just tried to crack a joke. Am I wrong? The Gavin guy. Yeah. Yeah. Did he not. Yeah, Darius is just very. He's like, I, I think I. If I had to go with one read out of this, it's that Darius is upset that this happened. Like, actually, quite upset that this happened. Uh, and this is all just him being like, fuck you for staying in the room. Anyway, that's... No, Xena, that's not at all what Gavin is saying here. That's not at all. He hasn't said that. He hasn't made that sound like what it, he's saying like the entire time he's been in this argument. And it's not what Relly thinks he's saying. Sorry, Xena said, like us having sex is only okay if he can be around to mediate or whatever, but if he isn't around, then we can't do it. Then and then we can't do it. It's a bad idea. That's not what he was saying. He he only real he was like, or at least the way it sounds to me is he was thinking he shouldn't have brought you guys back together, that you guys shouldn't be together, and you were asking him to leave, and he's like, shit, I have to break this up now because then I'm I after this I'm gonna be out of the room and I can't stop anything. Yeah. That's I don't know. I think those are slightly different situations, but. Oh, I six seconds left. I don't know if supposed to say that. I did, okay. and I, I, care, I care about you, bro. I'm just, that's why I'm having this conversation with you, because I care about you. But you don't give a fuck about what I'm saying, so I'm ending my stream. I'm actually annoyed, okay. dude. I'm not even joking. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh my god, he's still smiling. He's, yeah, he's definitely been punched in the face before. It's fine. I can't. <laughs> Who's the dude on the floor just watching in PJs? Oh. Some guy named Legacy, yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know, goofy guy. Yeah, probably not gonna work out as a roommate, to be honest. Like I'm, yeah, just being real. There's, there's, there's just a lot of issues. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. This was the most interesting thing I've seen happen so far. <laughs> I'm sorry. Amazing. I, I really wish that we could have a trial period where he had like full time employment as like a thing. Yeah. Um, because I feel like if he had some place he had to be for like six to eight hours, he'd probably, a lot of people would probably feel a lot less stress because half the time he wouldn't even be at the house. Yeah. I guess him being around all the time is a little weird too. Although it's, it's also weird taking out a roommate who doesn't have full-time employment and like a guaranteed way to pay you. Does he live with his parents or something? Like where does he live? Where does his money come from? Oh, I see. Is she going to pay his rent? Uh, I think he has some money in savings that he was going to pay like the first month and then try and get a job by the second month. But that's obviously not. <sighs> yeah. Not ideal. Yeah, not ideal. Apparently, this could be part of Gavin's side. Gavin's here or something. Yeah, he's outside. I can go walk out there right now. <laughs> you can go walk on the camera. You want me to? I mean, I, sorry, is this what you're, were you going back to go hang out with them? Is that why you're leaving in a little bit? Or No, 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 no. We're going, we're literally going downtown I shortly. See. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You don't have to. I don't know if I'm uh, going to watch too much of this. Someone just linked it and said, like, he's here right now. Get Gavin's side. And it's like, well, I, I feel like I understand. And I don't, I don't know that, like, he would actually go stare into the camera, please. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know that he would say like much more than what we've already said. 
Because, like, I feel like you're probably going to do as good a job as he is at expressing, like, what happened. But Yeah, I, th- I think um, after the conversation that I had with him, uh, Darius and Zena, it seems like everything that I've said to you is probably, unless something has changed, is probably the best that we're going to get out of it. Oh, somebody just made an excellent point. It's like the evening already, and he's still there, and everybody's hanging out. So what's going on? Um, exactly what you would think. No, but everybody's bitching out, and they're just hanging out with him. So th- this right. is like they're they're in one breath saying he needs to leave, and in the next breath, not- what are they even talking about? I I don't know. Hold on, I'll hit play. Dude, you gotta um, you. That's so real. You gotta stand up for what you believe no, for in. For real, for real, for real. Truth. He's not lying. Yeah, he would. No, he wouldn't. I hope he's been on. I've never told a lie. No, no, no idea. Are you sure? Get the fuck up. Are get you sure? Get the fuck up. Get the fuck up. If you need help, I'll help you. Do you guys think stuff I would pick up right now? I think so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah no I have no idea what they're doing. All right. Um, well, yeah. That's the situation. That's the situation. Oh, I was just going to say. Darius would rather let some dude watch him fuck his girlfriend than, or his girl than like just say hey leave <laughs> that's like all I got out of this situation fucking true yeah. I think I did the part where like Zena talks about it pass already or I don't think I heard that part like how did Zena feel about this she said she like she's care. the type of person to be indirect she would just tell somebody she said you know, she didn't get care. And I kind of believe uh-huh. that she didn't care so yeah. Yeah, that makes she, sense. She literally said she didn't care. Darius Darius was like, no, it was weird and whatever, but Zeno was just like, nah, I don't give a fuck. So yeah, that's how that went. Alright, I think I'm going back to the Asmon Gold stuff. Um Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dip out. out. Yeah, you're gonna be out of here, Rally. We'll hey. see you around. For sure. See ya, see ya. Much love. Yeah, thanks. Much love, Rally. Yeah.